The gas from the fluidized bed gasifier is led into the ash melter, where it is combusted at a low air ratio to reach temperatures as high as 1,350 degrees Celsius to melt the ash into vitreous slag. The ash melter consists of the primary chamber, inside which the ash entrained with gas is collected on the chamber wall by cyclonic motion the inclined type chamber for collecting slag in the secondary chamber. And the ash melter also has a tertiary chamber for the complete combustion of gas. Gas whirls along the ash melter wall while burning at 1350 degrees Celsius. Ash in the gas is melted into molten slag due to the high temperature and with the centrifugal force of swirling gas the slag then runs down the wall of the ash melter. Molten slag is quenched by water and air through the granulation trough and the slag conveyor and is pulverized and collected through the slag grain size controller. The recovered slag can be used as a substitute for sand as a sub-base coarse material for road construction. At the Asahi Clean Center, slag-made bricks, tiles, and interlocking blocks are used for flower beds, stairways, and sidewalks. The gas stripped of slag is completely combusted at 1,350 degrees Celsius. The waste heat boiler effectively recovers heat energy involved in the flue gas and utilizes the heat to generate steam. The temperature of the flue gas at the inlet of the waste heat boiler is higher than 1200 degrees Celsius. The generated steam is utilized for the center steam turbine to generate electricity the electricity reaches a maximum of 12,000 kilowatts, enough for consumption in the entire center. Surplus electricity is sold to electric power companies. The flue gas is sent to the treatment facility for removal of pollutants. The steam is also used for water boilers to feed hot water throughout the center. The bag filter collects dust in the flue gas. The flue gas is scrubbed with the solution of caustic soda to remove sulfur oxides and hydrogen chloride. Then, the flue gas enters the catalytic reaction column where nitrogen oxides are reduced to nitrogen by ammonia. The pollutants contained in the flue gas are removed to a level below the limit specified by the emission guidelines and can be released safely into the atmosphere from a 100 meter stack. This graph shows a comparison of the emission levels of pollutants and the regulatory limits. As can be seen from the graph, the emissions controlled at the Asahi Clean Center, blue, are well below the regulatory maximum limits, red, permitted. The emissions are under the continuous watch of a flue gas monitor installed in the stack. The quality of emissions monitored is indicated on the emission quality display at the entrance of the Recycle Plaza. The representative installations of the Asahi Clean Center just mentioned are put under the control of the central control room. Signals from cameras and measuring instruments are all gathered here. Let's review the major merits and the latest technology of the Asahi Clean Center's gasification and ash melting facility. The high temperature treatment dramatically reduces dioxin. 
ferrous and aluminum are recovered in a non-oxidized state suitable for reuse. By reducing air ratio, the flue gas volume is reduced to minimize environmental loads. Fly ash is melted and becomes slag by the heat energy contained in the waste. The recovered slag is used as a material for sidewalk blocks and other like products. Unsorted waste is a nuisance, but when it is sorted properly, as shown here, recycling becomes possible and it becomes a resource. It is very important, of course, to sort waste properly, but the most important thing is to reduce the amount of waste generated as much as possible by creative thinking and effort. The daily average discharge of waste per person is about one kilogram. Soon, the population of Kawaguchi City will reach 500,000. This means that 500 tons of waste will be generated every day. Waste disposal is a costly business. The Kawaguchi Municipal Government is attempting to decrease the amount of waste generated by 100 grams per person per day through the cooperation of all residents. If this can be achieved, it would result in reducing the amount of waste that must be disposed of by 18,000 tons a year. The Kawaguchi Municipal Government is striving to create a city filled with greenery and provide a pleasant living environment. If each and every citizen cooperates in reducing waste, the result will contribute significantly to the city's efforts to build a more comfortable place to live for all residents.